Lesson 13.3c, Solving Multi-Step Area Problems. We're about to solve some multi-step word problems involving area. We want to make sure that we read the problem carefully so we understand what we need to find. And we want to note the important information that's given. And we want to decide how to use the information by choosing a strategy. We come up with a plan. Are we going to write an equation? Are we going to act it out with a model? Look for a pattern? Solve a simpler version of the problem? Maybe we'll draw a picture, diagram, or a table. Maybe we'll work backwards or break the problem into small parts. Then we solve it and we check our answer to see if it makes sense. An artist needs to buy poster boards to cover a rectangular wall and each poster board measures 3 feet by 2 feet. If the area of the rectangular wall is 92 square feet, what is the least number of poster boards they'll need to buy? So the first thing we do is try to understand the problem. We need to figure out the fewest amount of poster boards that are needed to cover a 92 square foot area. The important information is that each poster board is 3 feet by 2 feet and the wall is 92 square feet. Our plan is to find the area of each poster board and write an equation to find the least number of boards. So it told us that each poster board was 3 feet by 2 feet, so the area of each poster board is 6 feet square. We need to write an equation to find the least number of poster boards that will fit into the 92 square foot wall. And we do 92 divided by 6, we get 16 and remember this remainder will be a numerator and that divisor will be the denominator. We get 16 and 2 6 which simplifies to 16 and 1 3rd. Now the problem asks for the least number of poster boards they need to buy. We have 16 and 1 3rd and since we can't buy 1 3rd of a poster board they'll need to round up to 17 so the artist will need 17 poster boards to cover the wall. We can justify and evaluate our answer. The area of each poster board is 6 feet square and if we multiply the 6 times the 17 we'll get 102 feet square which is plenty to cover a 92 square foot wall. So our answer is reasonable. A parallelogram roof needs new shingles and the parallelogram has a base of 26 feet and a height of 18 feet. The shingles are sold in boxes of 33 square feet. How many boxes of shingles are needed? We learned how to find the area of a parallelogram back in video 13.1a. If you missed it and you don't know how, that video is linked in the description. So first we need to understand the problem. We need to find the fewest number of boxes of shingles to cover the roof. And the important information is that the roof is a parallelogram of 26 feet by 18 feet and that one box of shingles covers 33 square feet. Our plan is to find the area of the roof and write an equation to find the number of boxes needed. First step is to write an equation to find the area of the roof. It told us that it had a base of 26 and a height of 18. We multiply 26 times 18 and we get 468. We know the roof is 468 feet square. Now we write an equation to find the number of boxes that will fit into 468. We do 468 divided by 33 and we get 14 and 6 33rds. We can simplify that to 14 and 2 11ths. And since we can't buy 2 11ths of a box of shingles, we'll need to round up to 15 boxes. So we'll go from 14 to the next amount of boxes, 15. We can justify and evaluate our answer. We, the area covered for each box is 33 feet square. So 33 times 15 is 495. That would be 495 square feet, which is enough to cover the area of 468 feet square. So our answer is reasonable. 15 boxes are needed to cover that roof. We're finished with Lesson 3.3 and we're going to move on to Lesson 3.4 which is split into three parts. The first part, we're going to be finding areas using tangrams. And if you've never heard of that before, it's a tangram is a puzzle that's made out of seven polygons called tans and they can be rearranged 
to make a bird or a house or a rocket or a cat, some other things, and we'll talk about that. Keep going. I'm proud of you. And enjoy your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.